Ukrainian OnePlus One TV channel news service in their release of 20 July, as well as Espresso TV, claim that the People's Defense Forces are hindering the work of the experts and are not allowing them to Malaysian Boeing 37 crash site. Все вказує на те, що бойовики спеціально тривалий час не пускали на місце трагедії міжнародних фахівців. However, the OEC reports of 21 July about the situation at the crash site says the following. On the 20 July, the mission representatives were provided full access to the main crash site, which earlier had been appropriately secured. The search of bodies continues. With this said, the flight recorders were already passed on to the Malaysian representatives in the evening on 21 July. Ukrainian media published a message from the Ukrainian security service which stated that in accordance with Russia's order, all book anti-aircraft complexes were allegedly transported away from the Ukrainian territory to Russia. However, this message was accompanied with a screenshot from a video made way back in March. Moreover, the image shows a book which belongs to the Ukrainian military. This is evidenced by its serial number. March pictures show a Ukrainian book number 312, so the SBU website also published a photo where this allegedly Russian book is marked 312 as well. За моєю спиною знаходиться будівля, яку два дні тому обстріляли озброєні сепаратисти. Statements by the Ukrainian media and Kyiv government claiming that pro-Kyiv forces are not shelling peaceful targets have turned out to be an utter lie. Thus, OSCE observers in Lugansk confirmed that Ukrainian army fires at peaceful targets. За последние несколько дней я убедился в том, что бомбят исключительно по мирным целям. Дома, фабрики, квартиры. Эти люди ничего не делали, они просто живут здесь. И что они получают? Вот эти осколки. Называется, украинская армия пришла нас защищать. Кто это защищает? Так, 